Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel, How to Paint Watercolours with me, Colin. And I've stretched my paper and I'm just leaving a, a thin film of water on the surface of the paper, drying off underneath. Chosen a little mountain scene today. Adding some Naples yellow, basically all the way across this, into the sky, down the mountains. I'm going to drop some cad yellow along the bottom here. Naples yellow again, just mixing as we go. Cad yellow there for a bright spot. A little bit of cad yellow in here. Band of permanent rolls, very weak, so I'm just going to water that. And I'll drop some of that in there as well. Touch of cobalt blue. Sienna. A nice mixture of colours. Cobalt blue with a touch of burnt umber just to grey it. Drop some in here as well. Sky, some interest. Just introducing permanent rolls once again. Allowing it to mingle to bring in a beautiful violet. Okay, and now we're going to leave this to dry. Okay, I've got a board at the at a slight angle, and I'm just going to re-wet these background mountains. Then taking some of the grey mixture, cobalt blue burnt sienna. And I don't want this to be too strong. Was it quite pale? Encouraging that to flow down. Just taking a little permanent rose and dropping it in just on some of these peaks. Now I just want to re-wet this middle mountain, clean water. Cobalt blue and burnt sienna once again. And that one to be a little paler. Take some off there. Stronger here on this one. Just flood it a little bit. Into this 
and actually want to drop some yellow green, cobalt blue, cad yellow deep, and burnt sienna. Taking off the excess. Same mixture again, cobalt blue, burnt sienna, and cad yellow deep. This has more burnt sienna in it, giving you a, an earthy, very, very earthy green. And add this in at the bottom, I just bring this up, leaving some of the other yellow showing through. Cobalt blue burnt sienna. And just along some of the edges here, just strengthen them up. And it should have dried out enough to allow you to come down this edge and give you a reasonably defined mountain edge, that makes sense. Darker down this side of the mountain. Just dropping little bits of colour in. Just a very, very simple way of getting your mountains on. Back to my earthy green colour. Some of the yellow green, strengthen it up. And now we're going to allow that to dry. Okay, <clears throat> I just want to come to this middle hill here right in the centre of the picture and I'm just going to rework that as well and we'll give this a row of fir trees I think and we'll take some of the mountain grey colour I'm just going to start above the water and pull it in and allowing all that to drift Just to make them slightly more interesting, I'm just going to drop a little bit of the uh, there's some very dark green in that I mixed up earlier. And then to the bottom, I also just want to drop in some cadmium yellow. Wet this side where the mountain is. Oh <clears throat> just mop the bottom up. <clears throat> I just re wet the back hill there. I'm not sure whether it came out in the camera. I just added some cadmium yellow to it and then dropped some of the grey green in. Um, which you can do simply yourself. I may have missed it, unfortunately. Or I may have um, forgotten to turn the camera on. My fault. And then said, I'm actually just going to drop a little bit of um, sky colour in. I fancy that. Some permanent rose. Okay, and then we're going to allow that to dry. <laughs> Okay, I just want to add some water around the house as we bring another set of trees in. Indian yellow here, it's a nice transparent colour. Back to the very dark uh, cobalt blue with uh, cadmium yellow and burnt sienna in it. And we're just going to pull this into the water, I'm just allowing it to drift.
dropping some burnt sienna in. Just taking that book up and just taking this back up into the painting. I'm take some of the yellow green. I'm just going to drop some of this in it just to give a slight variation in this colour so it's not so blocky. Touch of raw sienna. I'll come round here, re wet this side here. Some raw sienna. Cadmium yellow. Some of the yellow green. Just starting to use up all the colours now. French ultramarine and burnt umber just along the bottom edge. Just helps to define that shoreline. Very gently brought back into the painting, just pull it gently back. And once again, We'll have to leave this to dry. Okay, now that's, that's dry, let's put a bit of this bluey grey on the roof of this house or this cottage. You also make it a little uneven, as if some of the tiles have dropped. Uh, some yellow green, just to add a little bit of moss. Okay, it's a very dark green. This is made from Indian yellow, French ultramarine, and some burnt umber. And I was going to put a few fir trees in here. Just pull them out with your brush. When they come together, it doesn't matter. Ultramarine and burnt umber, just dropping this in. With a brush. some trunks out down here and I'll take my damp brush some water on it to catch the bottom of these trees and sort of pull it down catch the side of this tree and then just allow it to bleed out into the side here what's that just drop just a little green in just to murky everything up. Just dropping colours in now. The greens, Indian yellow. I'll just have a little bit of permanent rose for the door. It's always nice to sneak a little bit of red in. That might be a bit too operatically bright. Calm it down with a bit of burnt sienna. Ultramarine and burnt umber once again. Just pop in a few windows in this little cottage. Take some clean water and we're just going to come around this, re wet the water area. Some cobalt blue and burnt sienna, not horizontal strokes. Cobalt blue, burnt sienna again. Let's make it a 
little bit greyer. Cadmium yellow. Permanent rose. Dropping some of that yellow green in just for some reflections. I'm not doing a great deal of reflections. Drop some Indian yellow in here. some trees and now we're just going to let this dry let's just put a bit of uh, cobalt blue on this side of this house it at the back end. Once again taking some of the, the grey. Window frame round the window. So the same on the door. Just adds a little bit of depth. And she'll throw in a burnt umber then underneath here. taking a little water and bring that shadow down a little bit. I think while we're here I think we'll just drop a little bit of burnt sienna into this here, some raw sienna and then some of the French ultramarine and burnt umber just allowing it to drift backwards. Eve. I just want to put one or two indication of like roof tiles kind of things. Just want to bring some rocks and uh, stuff in here, so we're just going to scrape some out. I'm just going to take some Indian Yellow, French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber. And begin to drop a couple of pine trees in. Just taking some of the French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber adding it to one side of this tree and just taking a little damp brush with a little water on it I just want to start to bring this tree out Green, French ultramarine, Indian yellow with burnt umber, plenty of it on. Slowly bringing the two together. green and burnt umber shadowing that up ok 
cadmium yellowing just on the left hand side is where the light would come through from here just checking I've got things dark enough just adding a little more to the right hand side of this tree French ultramarine and burnt umber That's about all I want to do to this now. One or two grasses. Well, this is where you get around to the really best bit. This is where you get to sign it, mount it and frame it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click the like button and subscribe. Also, leave a comment should you wish to do so. It's always nice to hear from people and I will see you next time. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.